Hello everybody, welcome to Sunflower Farm. My name's Hope, and we have a herd of 30 goats, my husband Chris and I. And this is Acadia, one of the recent mamas, and her babies, Hamilton and Jefferson. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can tell if your goat is cold. So let's start first of all with what the heck is cold. <laughs> Pold means a goat that cannot grow horns. It's genetically predisposed to the position not to have a horn. So um, that's great. We ended up with a buck who bred our later does, like Charlotte and Acadia, um, who was pulled. And one thing to remember is you don't want to breed a pulled goat to another pulled goat, or you end up with some genetic abnormalities. But not having horns is great because it means you don't have to disbud your babies if you want a herd without one. Before we get started on figuring out how to tell if a goat is cold or not, why would we want to get rid of the horns in the first week anyway if a goat is going to grow them? Well, we think horns are amazing in the wild and really helpful. Acadia agrees. But for domesticated goats, they can cause some problems for the goat. One, goats love to rub their head against the fence, and they can get those horns stuck in the fencing and pull them off, and that can be really life threatening to the goat. The other is we love to rub our faces on top of goats' heads like this when we're visiting with them, and make sure that they're really safe for visitors and also to the other members of the herd. And if a goat another goat with its horn, it can be a really jagged um, So those are some of the reasons we like to disbud our babies who are going to grow horns within the first week. Because we're a super humane farm, we put the kids to sleep and use nerve block and we have the ability to do that, to do that procedure. But today is not about that. Today is about trying to decide whether a baby is pulled or not. So let's take a closer look at a few pairs of kids that were their moms were bred to a pulled goat and see if we can figure it out together. So this goat here is named Hamilton. He has beautiful blue eyes. And Jefferson has brown eyes. And we're going to check to see whether we think they're pulled or not before the vet comes today to do some disbudding. So the first thing you check for is pretty obvious. Do you feel bumps where the horns should grow when they're born that feel like they might be going into horns? On this one, I really do. I feel a couple of bumps. Also, you can look for swirls over the place where the horn is, little cowlicks. And this goat has that as well. The last thing you can do to check is feel for movement over the horn buds of the skin. When I try to move the skin over where I feel that horn growth, they don't, it doesn't move at all. He's being very, very patient. So I'm going to say that this goat would grow horns if we didn't disbud him. He is not pulled. So let's put him down for a moment. Goodbye, Hamilton. And we'll take a look at Jefferson, his brother. Um, this goat does have very slight bumps, but pulled goats can have bumps that can be called giraffe pulled, and they can have a slight bump where the horn growth would be, but it won't be pointy and it won't feel like a horn. So we're gonna have to look for some other things on this goat. Since I do feel a slight bump, I wanna be sure that he's pulled. So we'll try the wiggle test. If I put my fingers over where the horn would be, does the skin wiggle a little bit? I wish you could see, but it is moving. The skin is moving just a tiny, tiny bit on top of his head. And the last thing I look for, it's more noticeable on some goats than others, is they almost have a hairline that looks like an owl. If you can see, his hairline goes around like that and then has just a fluffy top to it. Can everybody see that? Yeah, that owl look seems to be um, common on goats that are pulled. So I'm gonna guess, if I had to be a betting woman, that Jefferson is pulled and won't have to have his horns done today. We'll confirm with the vet. Let's try another couple and see if we can tell on them. Okay, so here we are with the second pair of goats from the same pulled blue-eyed father. Um, 
Their mother is Charlotte, and they're just a couple of days old. Maple and Spencer. Let's see. Maple, uh, Maple is the one with brown eyes, and Spencer has blue eyes. And we're going to take a peek and see whether they're polled. Just as an interesting side note, um, none of the mothers had blue eyes, and the polled father seems to be throwing almost exactly half and half. Each of these three pairs of goats, you'll notice one of them has blue eyes. So let's figure out the polled business on these guys. First of all, just looking at their faces together, you can see that they both look like owls. They, they both have that beautiful widow's peak in the middle of their head with the circle and the point and the circle and the point. And then the fluffy top to their head with no cowlicks. So even before I touch them, I'm thinking they're both pulled. But if we want to take a closer look, we can feel the top of their heads. And I really don't feel a bump on either of them where the horn growth would be. On a goat this young, that's not really unusual in the doe because sometimes it takes them a week to grow horns. But um, the boy, we should feel something almost as soon as he's out. And I don't feel a thing. So the last thing we'll do just to make sure is a little wiggle test. Does the skin wiggle underneath my thumbs? Yes, on uh, the little boy. And it's hard if they move around, but yes, it moves also. So I'm going to guess that both of these goats are pulled. Nice job, Dad. That's two less you have to disbud. So here we have our last set of babies born this week to our pulled buck. This is Belle, the mother, and her babies who look very much like her. Um, the doe ling has blue eyes and the buckling has brown eyes. Their names are Bubba and Beverly. And um, again, we're getting a 50-50 on the blue eyes, but what about the poles? So we all know how to do this now. You guys could probably tell just by looking at them maybe on this video. Um, if we take a peek at their faces and look for the cow licks over where a horn would go or that owl look to their face, Perhaps you can guess without me even saying which one of these two is pulled. All right, so this little guy has horn points already coming. And over those horn points, there's a little twist of hair. So he is definitely not pulled. I don't do any, need to do anything else to check. There's no wiggle. He doesn't have that really dramatic widow's peak. Um, and he has those little cowlicks over where the horns would be. His sister, however, has a smooth top to her head. The skin does wiggle, and she has that fluff of hair, round top to her head. I don't know if anyone else thinks it looks like an owl, but that's what it looks like to me when I look at them. And um, so I'm going to say that this one is pulled. So we've got more than 50-50 going, um, if my guesses are correct. In a couple days I'll know for sure and I'll have the vet take a peek at them today. Um, and I hope this helps you as you're trying to determine whether your new babies are pulled and that you enjoyed meeting the newest members of our herd. Have a great day everybody.